What's up guys, time to review a brand new Stephen King adaptation, The Boogeyman. I'd never even heard of this one, but uh, we're gonna review it for you, spoiler free. Here we go. The Boogeyman stars Chris Messina, Sophie Thatcher, Vivian Lyra Blair, and is directed by Rob Savage. What's up guys, welcome to a brand new 2023 review. The Boogeyman is a new movie, um, Stephen King adaptation. Now, this is based on a short story uh, that's very, very short. Um, I can't remember when Stephen King did this story, but uh, I think they do a good job of actually, you know, spreading the story out given how short it is, because it's really just a, a basic premise, you know, that really just a notion of the, the monster under the bed, the monster in the closet, and wrapping this great family drama around it that works quite well. But the biggest thing that makes this movie work well are the scares, and it's chock full of them. Katie, there's something in my room. You believe me, don't you? There's no such thing as monsters. You need to grow up! I'm serious, Sawyer. I need to be alone. So anyway, let's let's give you a quick plot synopsis. It's about this family, Will, Sadie, and Sawyer. Sadie is the older sister. Sawyer is the younger sister. Um, Sawyer was in the Obi-Wan show. She played young Princess Leia. I just realized that because I thought she looked really familiar, and then I heard that it was that's who I was like, oh yeah, okay, and she does a great job in this. But Will, uh, played by Chris Messina, he is a therapist and uh, he does his work out, out of his own home. The movie opens up with this character named Lester, played by David uh, Dasmalchian. I hope I said his last name right. This guy, anytime he is in a movie, he always plays these weird, eccentric characters. Not necessarily bad guys, not necessarily good guys, just weird. And he, he plays it to perfection. But he is a patient, but not really. He just kind of walks in because he has an imminent problem which I won't really go into because I don't want to go into any spoilers. I just kind of want to gloss over what makes this movie work so well. And also, it's one of those movies I think the less you know, the better when you go into it. But he is the character that kind of kicks this whole thing off. It's one of those movies where uh, a curse is passed from a, you know, a, a new character that comes in to our main characters. Okay? I'll give you that much. And so after he enters the frame, then... You know, we get that scene where the young girl, Sawyer, she's got this lit up ball, which is, I think, a, a perfect prop for this movie to uh, use to kind of introduce light into a scene because a movie like this, uh, you're definitely looking into the darkness and the light to find your scares. So she's on her bed and then she slides the ball under and it's not about the end result, it's about getting to there. When you're watching that ball go under that bed, you are just gripping your chair. And, and that's what makes this movie just wonderful. You know, it's not perfect, but I think what they tried to achieve with the scares works very well. Now, Sophie Thatcher plays this character, uh, Thady. She's the older sister. And to me, she's more of the main character of the movie because we seem to follow her the most in the movie. And what's interesting is her relationship with her sister, Sawyer, because Sawyer's the first one to see the monster, you know, under the bed, in the closet. And for a long time, Sadie doesn't believe it. But then eventually, as you can imagine, uh, she does believe. And it's just fun, I guess, watching that progression of her, you know, getting to that point. Now, one of the cliche parts, and I said this in my out of theater reaction, you know, cliche characters is, Sadie, we follow her in high school and she has these bullies that are just really one-dimensional and you're just like, are people really that bad? Like, I mean, this girl had this recent tragedy in her family. The way the her supposed friends are treating her is like jaw-dropping. I would say almost unbelievable, but then I'm sure a lot of you in the comments would say, oh no, there are teenagers that are really that bad. And... My daughter actually went through, you know, some bullying herself when she was in middle school by, you know, teenage girls. Teenage girls can be horrible. So 
I guess I'll give it a pass. But we do spend a good portion on Thady and you know her relationships, her struggles going through this movie. But I think the biggest thing that works uh, about this movie is the, the pacing and the, the placement of the, the scares throughout. This is a PG-13 horror movie that doesn't need to be R because it's not really about blood and all that stuff. It's about tension. And there's definitely some payoff in terms of the monster, in my opinion. I will admit there were times I thought of the movie The Monster because there's some symbolism there, you know, because the monster preys on certain characteristics of people. You can see I'm being very careful with my words here, okay? But I think the biggest thing that works so well about this movie too is just the relationship between this this family, you know, the father who is a therapist who ironically can't really open up to his own children, even though he hears people's problems all day. And that is a major plot point of this movie. The good news is you definitely care and you are uh, uh, there for that family throughout this. And they play a big part in the overall outcome of the movie. One thing I loved about this too is it reminded me of signs. There, there's an element of that in this. You know, there's some heartfelt moments, obviously because of this family. Stephen King has a, a gift for covering families in his works. And in a story as simple as this about a monster, uh, you know, under the bed, in the closet, he's still able to kind of um, envelop it with this family dynamic that works very well. So overall, uh, I'm gonna give this movie a low purchase worthy. I really enjoyed it. And it, it definitely gave me those scares that I like in a Stephen King movie. And uh, this would be a fun one to watch in October, if I'm being honest. So. Definitely let me know what you guys think of The Boogeyman when you see it. Also, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks where we talk horror all day and every day. And on Fridays, we do Food for All Fridays. Follow me, Drum Drums, on my social support me on Patreon. Buy me a coffee. And you guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Drum Drum out. <laughs>